Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Luke and here on this channel I talk about perfumes, mainly focusing on designer, vintage and affordable scents, as well as some niche here and there. If that's something that you might be interested in, please consider subscribing, give this video a like and leave me a comment down below. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments and I always reply. In today's video, I'll be talking about six more unique summer perfumes. I already have a part one on this topic, so I'll link it down below for you. In this video, I have a few more unique, unconventional summer fragrances. Well, these are a bit more conventional than the other ones, the ones that I talked about in the previous video. So let's get into it. If you like coconut, if you like vanilla, white florals, you'll definitely enjoy these fragrances. So the first one is Cabotine Eau de Toilette from the house of Cré. And this was released back in 1990. It's a very affordable fragrance. I think I only paid about four to five euros for this 30 ml bottle. You can get the 100 for, I want to say 10 to 12. So it's very, very affordable. And it actually smells pretty expensive to my nose. It's not a cheap smelling cheapy, if that makes any sense. I would describe Cabotine as a sweet, creamy white floral with some fruity notes, some powdery notes, but predominantly the white flowers with some black currant and peach in the opening. I can really smell the black currants for some reason. So it's your typical 90s style floral fragrance. You've got a bunch of different florals, tuberose, hyacinth, carnation, jasmine, ylang ylang. I can really pick out the tuberose and I can also smell the hyacinth which gives this scent a very slight greenness and bitterness, but it's still a very sweet floral to me. This is not overly green. Some people find it green. Maybe they're deceived by the bottle. I don't know. To me, it doesn't smell overly green. Like for example, Chanel number no. 19. That's a very green, very bitter, sweet a fragrance that is not sweet at all so this is definitely not that kind of fragrance it reminds me of the likes of Lancôme Poème, Givenchy Amarige but it's more everyday appropriate casual very likable to me this is just a happy scent I find it complex I find it well blended it smells like a designer fragrance so I'm really impressed I'm glad I picked up a bottle a few months ago. I haven't been really wearing it. I don't know why, because this really works in the summer. For me, this is perfect. In the summer heat, I love wearing this. Cabotine from Cré, the Eau de Toilette, not the Eau de Parfum. I don't know what the Eau de Parfum smells like. Most people say it smells the same, but, you know, take that with a grain of salt. And moving on, we've got another beautiful summer fragrance. And this is a coconut scent. This is one of my favorite coconut scents. It's an oldie, but a goodie. Crystal Noir from Versace, the Eau de Parfum, not the Eau de Toilette. This to me is a beautiful, creamy coconut scent with some soapiness from the gardenia, a hint of spice and a very nice sandalwoody base. Yes, it smells like a designer fragrance. It smells like a unique designer fragrance from the early 2000s. It came out in 2004. It's creamy, it's soapy, sweet, slightly milky, also a bit fresh. And I really, really enjoy it. And to me, this is one of those classic designer fragrances that will never go out of style. I pull this out every single summer, even though I'm not a seasonal person. I wear my fragrances whenever I feel like it, but this one I really like wearing in the summer because it's strong. Don't get me wrong, this is a strong fragrance, but for some reason it's just perfect for the summer. I love wearing this in the summer and I'll be taking this bottle with me on holiday next week, definitely, because I love wearing this on the beach as well. I just love coconut, I love gardenia, What's there not to like? So that's Versace Crystal Noir, the Eau de Parfum. Oh, the performance is actually really good on me. Um, it only lasts about, I would say it lasts about five to six hours and then it becomes more of a skin scent. But the projection and the sillage are there. I can really smell it on myself when I spray it on. I bought a bottle of the Eau de Toilette a couple of years ago and I returned it because it, 
I couldn't even smell it on me. So I decided to return it. So that's Versace Crystal Noir, the Eau de Parfum, and we have to move on. I've got another vanilla fragrance. This is a vanilla coconut fragrance from the house of Jean Art. This is Vanille Tropicale. It came out in 2014 and you can get this for around four to five euros. It's a cheapie, it's affordable. Uh, it's from La Ronde des Fleurs collection, presented as an as homage to Grasse, the perfume capital of the world, as you know, in the south of France. This is a vanilla scent with a hint of coconut. The vanilla is sweet, it's creamy, uh, ever so slightly synthetic smelling, I have to say, but it's very likeable. It's also powdery and it has a slight tropical vibe, which I absolutely adore because I love coconut, I love ylang ylang, but it's not overly heavy on the coconut, I would say, because it's predominantly a vanilla fragrance. And one fragrance this does remind me of in the dry down is Fire at Will from the house of Javoy Paris, which is an expensive niche fragrance. I really like it. I'm not going to buy it. But this one, for some reason, really reminds me of Fire at Will, which is also a vanilla caramel fragrance, I believe. But, you know, don't take my word for it. I'm not claiming they're dupes or anything. I just find them to be similar. So that's Vanille Tropicale from the house of Jean Art. And the next fragrance is also from a French house, from the house of Cacharel, and it's called Noah. This is Cacharel. Noah, I got it about a month ago and I've been wearing it a ton. I absolutely adore Noah. It's a beautiful musky floral scent with some powderiness and with some coffee in the base. It smells fresh, it smells clean, comforting, musky, but this is a very clean musk, not a dirty musk. And it's just one of the most beautiful ethereal fragrances I've ever tried. I'm so glad I got a 100ml bottle. This is such a delicate scent that also lasts and projects. It feels light, it feels delicate, but it's not actually a light scent. And it on me, it performs. So I'm really impressed by the performance. It's light and airy, but not weak. It projects for about three hours on me and lasts for about, I would say, six to seven hours. But I can smell it on my skin all day and I can smell it on my clothes all day. So it's not a weak scent at all. And it's also, it's very affordable. The 100ml, I think, goes for about... 35 dollars euros pounds i want to say so yeah if you want to smell like a bar of soap check out noah from cacharel the next fragrance is another typical summer fragrance with some vanilla some coconut some white florals it smells like a santan lotion it really does and it's eau de soleil blanc from tom fort and this one is not the real thing this is a dupe an oil dupe from Perfume Parlor, I think, from the Perfume Parlor, which is a UK dupe uh, brand. And I got this one, I think someone sent it to me. I don't even remember. I've had this for a few years. Uh, it's really nice. It's super strong. You only need like three or four dabs. I dabbed it like three or four times. I could smell it all day on me. It's such a strong fragrance. And it smells exactly like Tom Ford or the Soleil Blanc to me. Exactly. So I'll definitely take this one with me on holiday as well and just maybe wear it as my base layer and then layer some other fragrances over it. That's my plan. We'll see how it goes. But we have one more and this is truly Italian Dolce Vita, you know, living la Dolce Vita in Italy or in the south of France as well. It's none other than Dolce Vita from Dior. This is a classic from the 90s. It's a fruity, woody, powdery fragrance with some vanilla. Yes, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It has a spiciness. It has a powderiness. It has a beautiful peach note. And it just wears beautifully in the heat. I love wearing this in the heat. I only do about four to five sprays. And I'm immediately transported to the south of France, walking down La Promenade des Anglais in Nice, or maybe having a cocktail in Monaco. And this scent really captures 
one of those moments, I guess, you know, living the sweet life, not having a care in the world, doing whatever you want, going to the beach, enjoying the sun, the sea, and just enjoying life because life is beautiful. No matter where you are and what you're going through, try to enjoy every moment, live in the moment, seize the day, focus on the positive. I do that every day and it it has helped me through some really bad patches. Apologies for being too melodramatic, but let's end this video on a positive note. Uh, these are all the fragrances that I've been wearing in the past few weeks and I will be taking at least three or four of these with me on holiday slash vacation. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment down below before you leave. I'll see you in one of my next videos. Have a nice weekend. Bye.